You're listening to Deacon Live. Deacon Live. Deacon Live. Deacon Live. I'm talking to myself. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Deacon Live. 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 From the Queen City Studio. Studio. Oh my God! With the Deacon Live. Right now. Ready? Yes. Welcome back, guys. You're listening to Deacon Live right here on Proper Radio. My name is the Deacon. Give us a call here at the station at 407-448-8800. Text us live at any time at 407-448-8800. You can... We are broadcasting live in the Queen City studio located just outside of downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. I have to say that now. And I want to say... Not that I have to say that now. Um, I want you guys (laughs) to understand what we're doing here at Deacon Live. Welcome to 2019. And this show is going to be about a, a, a bunch of, uh, we're, we're, we're letting it all out there. Everyone's, you know, I'm going to lose weight. And I'm going to, you know, you know, not beat my children <laughs> as much. I'm going to, you know, get that job. I'm going to do something, you know, for the new year. Everyone has new year's resolution. I'm going to clean my closet out. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, you know what? We're here at Deacon Live. We're going to do, I'm going to clean our closet out. And uh, I, I just want to say some stuff to uh, everyone here, and uh, but we're going to talk about that further on down the line. Give us a call at the station at 407-448-8800. Text us live anytime at 407-448-8800. And so everyone made it through. Everyone made it through 2019. Thank God for that. Thank God for everything. Trump didn't get his wall. <laughs> well, he's working on getting his wall. He's working on getting his wall. And uh, someone here at the station... This guy had a birthday. Had a birthday. I had my birthday. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, relax, relax. I had my birthday. My birthday was last... Jesus, when was it? January 6th. January 6th. Epiphany. Jan- oh, that was Sunday. Epiphany was my birthday, and I always said that as a kid. You know, growing up, I'm like, oh, my birthday's on a holiday. And, you know, all the... Like, the other people in the all the kids in the school my elementary class was like going what's epiphany i'm like going it's a day that the three wise men and they're all like by the time i said that and they're like ah shut up kid but yeah my birthday's on epiphany and if you don't know what epiphany is i'm not gonna get in religion but it's the day the three wise men showed up with frank and myrrh and all that other stuff but uh yeah yeah january 6th uh was my birthday and I would just like, you know what? I'm gonna get on the, I'm, I'm gonna get off this small soapbox. I'm gonna take a step over to my right hand side, which is a taller soapbox. And I would just like to say, I, I think Facebook has improved and corrupted, or made it so, whatever word, French word you want to put in there. That uh, they, they they've ruined everyone's birthday. They've ruined your personal birthday. Your the day you, you were because you get like a notice. It's like it's like you got an appointment. It's like you got a, a staff meeting to go to. Hey, don't forget, you know, uh, Jesse Williams' birthday is coming up in three days. And I'm like sitting there, you know, if you've got let's say any number of you know, if you're just a <laughs> people over the age of sixty don't have two thousand friends on Facebook. People over 60 years old, you know, they only have, let's say, 200, and 50 of them are friends and relatives and people they went to high school that haven't died yet. And so, <laughs> hey, Jesse, hey, Jesse Williams' birthday is coming up. I should write them something and send them something. You know, you type on the Facebook thing, you send Jesse Williams. Yeah, that could be boy or girl. Don't gender assume me. And you you send that to Jesse Williams, and that goes off, and Jesse's like gets it on a thing, and everyone sounds old. That's great, but Facebook has diluted and got it. Just made it. Just it's it's sad. I tried so hard to get my birthday off my original profile. Now, granted, my birthday itself, being on Facebook, has been ten years. So I've been on Facebook uh, for one broadcast or another through the radio industry my uh, my my profile hit a it's 10 year in, or anniversary 10 year birthday so but you know people are just getting on it now they're uh you know they're you know they 2013 <laughs> 2014 all that stuff 
But back then, you had a close knit of friends. You had a close knit of friends when, you know, 2000, I think seven is when Facebook went live. And you had, you know, 100 people, 200 people, whatever, whatever your graduating class was, you know, you know, Facebook, blah, 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 blah. So they, they belittled your birthday. They belittled your birthday enough on Facebook to say, hey, guess what? Um, don't, don't send me, you know, prayers and thank yous and, you know, thoughts and all that stuff that happens with a tragic event. Because sometimes for some people, it is a tragic event when you have a birthday. Uh, but they they now have linked it to all these, you know. And you, just, it it it's mm, it's so commercialized. It's so your birthday on Facebook is not your birthday anymore. It's your birthday that to show, you know, uh, Teresa Jacobs, not Teresa Jacobs, because she's a, a person in Florida. <laughs> I'm gonna say um, Susan Jacobs. Let's do Susan Jacobs. Susan Jacobs who you are a friend of a friend or a third party of a friend. And you sit there and Teresa or Teresa, Susan Jacobs now has her birthday. And you know what she wants you to do? You know what she wants you to do? She wants you to give no, I don't want birthday greetings or anything. I want you to give money to my local charity. And then you click on the charity and you look down and it's all these approved Facebook charity things. And you look down and you approve, you know, okay, well, you know, you know, the, the non-battering of dogs and animals. Well, I don't want that. You know, so you click on that, you know, and you give them a dollar or whatever. <laughs> so, but, you know, some people like me, I don't, I, I don't, I just let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I, I tried so hard to remove my birth date from my Facebook profile. I don't even know. I don't, I, obviously I've, I've gotten, so, and I appreciate, you know, don't get me wrong. I appreciate all the sentimental gifts. All the please and thank yous and happy birthday and good luck and way to go, you know, Deacon. Uh, of course, it's underneath my, uh, you know, my God-given name. And uh, but here's the, <laughs> so that's the 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 Facebook has diluted your birthday and your your social network has expanded. You know, I remember, like I said, in 2009, when I got on, you know, I had a close knit friend of 200 people. And then it, that 200 people, now that's 10 years ago, 10 years ago. So I was, you know, early 30s back then. And now 10 years to this date, well, not this date, but uh, January 6th, 10 years has gone by. And I've created this nest of of people and, and, and social network and through, you know, radio and through, you know, just business contacts and, and stuff that goes with that, you get this whole, you know, you, if you look at, you know, when it says you might know, blah, blah, blah. And if it says more than 32, more than 20 people, you know, I said, okay, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll send them a friend request. And I'm sure it's happening. It Well, I know it's happening on the opposite end because all of a sudden, you know, I go from, you know, two to three, th I know. Two to three thousand followers to you know five to six thousand followers, and then what happens? And then what happens? Uh, your birthday comes up on their timeline, and <laughs> those people go, "I don't know this person. I don't know this person at all," and they just kind of you know, you, ding ding, you get notices on your phone, ding 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 ding. Hey, five people have birthdays on this date, and you're like going, "Jesus Christ, I know a lot of people," and then all of a sudden. The, the most I saw was 22 people that I knew were born on this date. You know, ding, 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 send them a message or, or subscribe to their their whatever charity that they got going or, or you, know, you know, send them a, a picture or you guys have been friends for this long. It's just, it's so, it's so disconnected. It's so disconnected. So disconnected is, is what I want to say. That's, that's, I'm going to put that down. So disconnected. You can give us a call here at the station at 407-448. I put discounted. <laughs> Disconnected. 407-448-8800. Or text us live at any time at the uh, Queen City Studio located just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, so that's what's happening. I just had a birthday. And one thing I just want to say to... Uh, I talked about a rabbit hole of realtors that I got into. You know, when, you know, I, I sold a house, I was trying to sell a house, was trying to find a buyer, I was trying to find a mortgage lender, I was trying to do all that stuff.
And what happened was, you know, I got all these friend requests, you know, and I was accepting them, accepting all the friend requests for anyone that had a, you know, was a realtor and all that, and all the things that go with the connection, you know, oh, you need a title loan officer? Yes, okay, I'll just, you know, if I have any questions, I can just kind of shoot them an email. Well, with that being said, uh, I, you know, of course, you know, my my fan base or whatever went from, you know, <laughs> let's say 2,000 to 2,300. So when I got all the, you know, everything, went, you know, it pops up on your side of the Facebook, you know, this is your, hey, guess what? You know, Deacon's got a, a birthday. <laughs> guess who I heard from? Absolutely none of them. None of them. None of them. None of the realtors, none of the, the um, uh, loan officers, none of the, you know, the realtors, loan officers, title companies, nothing. Never heard anything, whatever. I'll tell you what. You know who sent me a freaking email to saying that a ha happy birthday? I posted something on Reddit. You know who Reddit is. That's the front page of the internet. I posted something on Reddit, uh, I think in 2013. They still remember my birthday and sent me an email saying, happy birthday, Deacon. Don't forget, you got, you know, blah, 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 credits and stuff. But that was it. That was it. All my re realtor friends, realtor, title loan, whatever. I keep saying that because that's all I know. I don't know the industry but that's it I, I got nothing i got nothing nothing you would think hey deacon happy you know whatever birthday if you're still looking for a house and i'm typing <laughs> if you're watching the video i'm you know doing fake typing on a piece of paper in front of me happy uh, you know whatever birthday if you're still looking for a house or know a friend of us that's looking for a house give us a call <sighs> nothing and that's and it's that's how fake it is that's how fake it is and you want me to sign up for your SPCA or you want you know to stop you know migrant and child's children from buying homeless dogs from an abandoned shelters charity no it's, it's made up these made up uh, it's just a bunch of mess you want me to throw money at, at, at stuff on Facebook I got on the Facebook just to have friends and to post social awkwardness, which is kind of what this show is. <laughs> but outside of that, I don't need to make business. I mean, to a certain point, I need to make business. I don't live and die by Facebook. If you're living and die by Facebook, you're going to be broke. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead if you're you're counting on, uh, you know, an income or a stream of, of uh, money from uh, Facebook uh, for whatever charity or whatever business that you got. Because it... it, it it doesn't work. It does not work. Believe me, it does not work. So uh, there's my rant and rave, and uh, I hope everyone's doing good. 2019, have you uh, hit the uh, salad buffet? Have you done the whole dry, not dry December, dry January thing that they're trying to push on everyone? I saw it on, was it Good Morning America or one of those stupid AM weekend shows that they can't get real people to be on during the week. But uh, yeah, dry, dry. People have been doing dry months all the time. You know, people do dry October. People do dry September because there's no real big holidays other than uh, I forget if it's Labor Day or weekend. But and then people go. Everyone's got to do dry January. And they, you know, they have a person who wrote the book and people uh, on the on the TV and they were like going, so wait, how did you come up with this idea? And she's like, I don't know. I, I you know, I'm a, I'm a doctor and bubble i'm like oh bullshit people have been doing this for years and now you just kind of january was the only month that no one decided to do that and you just kind of glommed onto it and so she wrote a book and you know the reggie sister or reggie sister reggie miller sisters interviewing her for some stupid something i don't know the what's her name from the wmba i forget her name the big tall one of course she's tall she plays basketball big tall woman that's now on, you know what? They might as well just put a, well, that's what they do now, I guess, for the most part. ESPN just hires well-spoken athletes to run their station. And then they throw the white guy in there for the stats. Well, I, you know, uh, you know, Jameel, that, uh, you know, Terrence went uh, 42 for 19 last year. And Jameel's like going, yeah, he did. He was good at doing it. Oh, why did he sound redneck? I don't know. But that's what's going on. You're listening to Deacon Live. I'm going to take a quick little break, take a sip of my show beer. We are live on, on the um, Profit Radio uh, website. Uh, if you miss us today, don't worry. You can catch us any day at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, 
on the station, and we'll have all the the stuff uh, videos located up and just running. outside of See downtown Charlotte, North Carolina, at four zero seven four four eight 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 zero zero. Make sure you follow us on our social networks. If you're on the Prophet Radio, P R O P H E T Radio website. Uh, you can get all all our social networks and links and stuff from there. So, um, welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. You made it over the hump. We made it around the sun one more time. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's you know uh, s- decided to do all their. Um... Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Did you do the whole you know I'm gonna eat a salad every day until March, till I get my uh, my beach body back in in check. Or I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna quit drinking beer for a while. I'm gonna quit doing this. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna better myself. It's always a better yourself. It's always a better yourself. And that that kind of goes to my whole uh, theory about how holidays are spread out. You know, uh, first of the year, I'm gonna find. <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna find true love. I'm gonna find true love. And then, you know, after the first year, let's say New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, you, you, well, you wake up next to someone or, or you had a, a moment with someone, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, true love, you know, a love at first sight could happen. New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, you're at a party, you're at a whatever, and you, you see someone for the first time across the room, and you, and you look at them, you lock eyes, and you end up shagging each other. And then, you know... <laughs> New Year's Day, you're like going, you feel awkward, whatever the case may be. And then then they throw in next month. What's the next month? Next month is a big holiday, is uh, Valentine's Day. And then figure out if you want to be with them. And then they throw in another holiday, which is Memorial or Labor Day or whatever that is. And then you find out how religious they are. They throw Easter in there on the next month. And then so on and so forth. It's, 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 It's a conspiracy. Anyways. But I'm glad everyone's here. I'm glad everyone that that's listening has survived. Uh, and your New Year's resolutions are up to date. I, you know, I think that you know a lot of people wanted to do. You know, it's it's the the main thing as far as you know losing weight. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that, and and so on from there. I just want to say I want to start right now, and uh, I want to say that. Deacon Live, what you're hearing right now, is not, how do I put this? It's it's not what we, Theater of the Mind, has portrayed it to be. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's what you're hearing right now is what you get no matter what. <laughs> what you get now is no matter what. I think I got a song there somewhere. But what you're hearing, let me explain how this whole thing started and then... You can be the judge. You can hate me. You can hate me, or you can appreciate uh, everything that we've done, or everything that I don't want to say we've done. I say we because a lot of people have helped me to get to this point. Um, but what I've, I've this is my creation. This is my creation, Deacon. I've been doing this for, I think, in one form or another, for the last four to five years. Um, and I've got an opportunity this past two years, two to three years, to do this on this level. When I say this level is what the product that you hear and see now. Um, I never had cameras in the studio. Uh, I didn't have the abilities. The, uh, the technology and the money and stuff that I could afford was not there. So what you're seeing and what you're hearing now is the product of evolution of the Deacon Live show. And I just want to... Let everyone know exactly what's been going on and what's been happening. And 2019, we're going in full. We have a going in full steam. We have a huge fan base from I I can't even name how many countries. I I can say that it's over 25 countries that we've got a huge fan base from, and we appreciate. And I'm waving to the camera right now. We appreciate each and every one of you. Each and every one of you for for taking the chance on a show that has but not been um, commercially uh, inundated uh, with with uh, you know you know sponsor hey you know drink this kombucha or eat this or do this or you know wear this everything has not been this is all 
in house. This is a uh, uh, grassroots podcast. I'm going to take a little break here. Hold on. I know what you're thinking. Where's Teacher Man? Teacher Man, uh, if you've uh, listened to the last, I think the last show, Teacher Man is, is uh, <laughs> I have to do a lot of talking now. So Teacher Man has actually, he goes up and takes care of his, if you don't know who Teacher Man is, um, he is actually my father-in-law and we're coming clean on the on this episode so setting up for the new year so i don't have to sit here and make up not stories and stuff but just like theater of the mind i've said it a million times teacher man is my my um my my father-in-law my my wife's dad and um he's retired <clears throat> he is um a retired school teacher of 30 some odd years and uh, during that time, during his 30-some-odd years, you know, he, he was married. He had two children. And um, he, has, he has done several things throughout his career. Uh, he has uh, owned an uh, Italian restaurant. Uh, he has owned uh, bait-and-tackle shops. But these are things that he's done. He's left the, you know, the teaching industry, uh, went on and, you know, tackled these things, and then Whatever the case may be, sold it. Whatever made money, went back to teaching. Kind of like um, uh, myself. I, I worked for Home Depot for 20 years, and uh, when I don't want to say when times got tough, when I needed to go back to a job, I could go back to Home Depot at any time. So I have a huge, you know, 20 years in my history of um, of Home Depot and home repairs and all the stuff that goes in with that. So. Teacher man is uh, his mom. He's retired now, so his mom um, uh, lives with his brother in Long Island, which is the area that he's from. And uh, he gives his brother—I don't want to say a break, but you know the the his brother and wife throughout the years, you know, have had two kids and they've grown up and they have graduated and stuff. But I guess uh, this is pre Deacon being in part of the family. He goes up there during his summer breaks and takes care of his mom. You know, for the, the summer break, you know, four to five weeks at a time. And then uh, since he's retired, I guess he goes up uh, just after the holidays to take care of his mom. Not that she's, you know, uh, bedridden or anything like that. Just to kind of watch her because she's a little feeble. You know, she used to be a semi-pro uh, ice skater uh, back in the day up there from my understanding. And, and uh, so she's 90-something years old. Uh, she, you know, walks around. She can move around. She doesn't move far, but she moves around, and her brain is smart as a whip. Uh, I, I've gone up there several times uh, on vacations, and uh, she is. Uh, I've, I've tried to mit- match wits with her, and she is actually. Uh, <laughs> and I can't throw anything by her. Let's put it that way. I can't. You know, I can throw things by my wife. I can throw things by um, my father-in-law, teacher man. I can throw things by people on a daily basis. She will not. She understands exactly what I'm talking about. So she's smart as a way. So anyway, she, he, he's up there for the next five, five to six to eight weeks. I don't know how long he's going to be up here. So uh, starting off 2019 with just me, just me. And what I wanted to do is start out by saying um, I'm breaking everything in Deacon Live down the brass tacks. Down the brass tacks. I don't want any interference, outside interference. Um so this is this is Deacon Live, and uh, what I want you to do is I want you to take some time when you have time to go to our YouTube page, and I I um, we live stream. We have four different camera ang- camera angles here, and I want you to see exactly what goes on here in the studio. Um, I've got a um, camera on me, camera on the. Uh, on the mixing board, so you can see what's going on. If there's a camera behind me, if you're watching my wife cut my hair, uh, I've got a screenshot of what goes on here in the uh, in the studio. So if I pull up any kind of stories or anything on the on my big screen here, you can see it down in this location. And also, I have a, a camera on the show beer. <laughs> People keep track of that. Uh, but this is it. This is it. Um, what happened? Let me explain what happened. Oh, excuse me. So, 
for the longest time, I was doing uh, live streaming out of um, a spare bedroom in Orlando. And then, and well, my wife and I were living together and we set up the spare bedroom to do live streaming for a radio station, which is Profit Radio. Then we moved, uh, we had an opportunity for her, for her uh, job, for her uh, her career, to move up here to the Charlotte area. So we moved to Charlotte area, and we got a house over in Huntersville. Huntersville, just outside of Charlotte, had, it was, you know, it's just me and her. And we got a house uh, that had an upstairs, which I'll never... I'll never do an upstairs, downstairs again. Uh, I I understand my mom, you know, when she was looking at houses, she's like, you know, we're getting older. I don't want an upstairs and downstairs. And I understand that now because, you know, to go upstairs to do something and, oh, shit, I left it upstairs or I left it downstairs. It's, you know, two flights of stairs down or, you know, I say a flight, a flight and landing and a flight up, you know, to make the turn. So anyways, I started the Deacon Live show there. Because I was working for a internet uh, radio station in Orlando, and of course I couldn't do live appearances or anything like that. So I, in a way, uh, I bought them out. Uh, I saved my money, and I I saved my money. I cashed in a lot of stuff, and I cashed in a lot of favors, and I bought that um, that internet broadcast out. To my chagrin. Um, I kind of got the raw end of the deal. Uh, I got left in the dark with a lot of stuff, but I actually acquired a lot of, uh, what you hear here in the studio, uh, the microphones, the mixing boards, um, the, what else? Just the, the, the cables. I mean, all the stuff that takes to run a a radio broadcast or even a, a, a large scale streaming live broadcast or or a uh, live uh, radio station. So that's where I'm at today. So today I am you know 2019 we are getting into a I want to say a better position and I want you guys to I'm I'm not going to I'm tired I'm not that I'm making up lies. How do I how do I word this? What what we're doing here is uh, I just want to tell you, each and every one of our listeners, uh, the actual behind the scenes of what goes on here. And when we come back, I'll get into a greater detail. I know I'm getting long-winded here. Uh, you're listening to Deacon Live right here on Prep uh, Radio. Be- so getting back to uh, Season of Lies or Season of Truths or the Year of Truths. Let's do that. The Year of Truths. So my wife and I... Uh, we lived in Huntersville. We had the radio station uh, running out of a, a small bedroom or a spare bedroom in our house in uh, Huntersville. So here's what happened. So I moved up to North Carolina, uh, left Home Depot, sold my company down. Well, I had a, a, a company down in, in North Carolina, sold my company, bought the rights to a, a radio streaming radio broadcast station, brought it up here to North Carolina took a while to get on my feet um i had to go back to home depot don't get me wrong all the stories that i've ever told on deacon live are completely true now i changed the names and stuff to protect the innocent and i had to work them to fit them into uh, a radio station format so you wouldn't think that you know i was just this garbage truck guy who run up (laughs) run up behind a microphone and just spread stories anyways so I was working for Home Depot, and uh, I got an opportunity to have a uh, an Home Depot schedule. I, I became a manager at Home Depot, and Home Depot schedule. If you ever worked retail, I worked. Uh, you know, you'd open one day. You know, you work five to to noon or five to three o'clock in the afternoon, and then turn around and have to open the day or open the store up the next day. So I worked retail for over twenty years. At Home Depot, I've worked other retail places. So I understand. I understand that I've had real jobs. I haven't had, you know, cushy jobs like I have right now. It's not cushy, believe me. I'm going to get into that here in a second. 
opportunity came up for me to work as a warehouse manager for a local Charlotte place. Uh, I worked there. I still work there. Um, it, it's a Monday through Friday job. I can't I can't argue with that. I took a pay cut from Home Depot to go to work for this uh, warehouse company. And uh, so I'm, you know, Monday through Friday, I'm out at a certain time, and that allows me to do the show that you're hearing right now. Because of that, uh, not because of that, uh, we, my, my wife and I bought uh, what we call the French teacher man. Uh, it's not a farm, it's not a ranch, because it's both. It's a French, so we kind of blended the two words together. So this French that we bought is way on the outskirts of Charlotte, North Carolina. It's actually the town of Marshville, which is um, where Randy Travis uh, was born and raised and, and grew up, and I don't know if he made his fame here. Anyways, so the French that we live on, and I'm broadcasting right outside the French. What you're hearing right now is based out of my property in Marshville, North Carolina. Now, let me explain how this came to be. So we took, you know, when you when you look for a house, for, for those of you out there looking for a house, believe me, if you want to live in, and I'm from Orlando, if you want to live in downtown Orlando, you, you take the money that you can afford and you, you draw a circle on a map. And you said, all right, you know, and all my realtor friends that didn't wish me happy birthday, by the way, um, <laughs> you draw a circle on the map, you want to look here. And then you go, okay, you know, and plus your job and stuff. And then you go, okay, well, I don't like any of these houses here because they need, you know, $15,000 worth of repairs and, you know, $100,000 worth of this. So then you widen your your circle out a little bit more, you know, as far as your commute. You draw that circle again. You draw that circle again. Well, that that's exactly what we ha what happened to us here in, in Charlotte. We could take a certain amount of money and buy a house in this certain area, but Every house that we looked at, it, it was either the perfect house, but the the land, because we're looking for at least 10 acres. Um, the house was perfect, but the land needed, you know, 200,000 worth of work. Or the land was perfect, but the house was like a, 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 you know, a trailer or a mobile home. And you're like going, all right, well, we can live here until we, you know, <laughs> build the house that we want. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way when you have two people who have two two full-time careers it doesn't work that way so we you know expanded and expanded finally we came across this house that we call uh, briar oaks briar oaks is is the the name that i gave the place um because there's a lot of oak trees and there's a lot of briars so we called it briar oaks and we are sitting on um several acres and here's what sold the house the house itself was immaculate um we couldn't ask for a better house uh, it was built in 2004, um, but the garage, it's a detached garage, uh, three-car garage, but they sealed up one side, so it's now a two-car garage, and on the, on, the, on the third garage part is a tool room downstairs, and then you have to allow for you know, a staircase up to a landing and staircase up, and above the garage is 800 square feet of a finished you know, what they would call a man cave, you know, basement or whatever, or a man cave room. Above the garage is this 800 square foot room, which is, listen listen to this. The people who own the house played, <laughs> played, held rehearsals in this room that I'm sitting in right now for their church band. So there are outputs for headphones, for microphones, for RCA cables. Um, there are things for, you know, to, to, and they had a mixing, they've got a light board, everything that you see here. And I'm going to move the, hold on, let me move the microphone a little bit more or not the microphone, the, the camera. So what you're seeing here, hold on, main news. What you're seeing here on the video is part of what they've designed. Now, granted, it was all a white room. I, I have spent two months painting this room. Two months painting this room, which looks like a circus tent up above us, and we call it under the tent because that's the whole scheme of the of the show. It's it's you know confusion underneath the circus tent. Circus tent. So what you're seeing behind me is uh, some rooms. Anyways, this room was actually set up to be 
what I'm doing right now. Now I put the the tables in. I put the you know the monitors and stuff. I've run the cables and and what you see. But what you're seeing here, this this whole area, and it was sold. Sold. I'll take it. We'll take two of them if you got them. So what you're hearing now is broadcast live. Hold on. What you're hearing now is being broadcast live, videotaped live, with all the different camera angles and everything that I have live from a studio that I have, I don't want to say created, but I have adapted on my own property here in Marshville, North Carolina, which is just outside of Charlotte. Um, so when you hear me talk about driving into Charlotte and driving into stuff, I, I, I do, I, I go into work, you know, I do my shift at work and then I come back here and I work on this all day, <laughs> believe me, all day long. Now I've got chores. We have, um, we have four horses here on the property. We have chickens, we have chicken houses. Every story that I've told you is absolutely true. It's not false. Every story that I've, I've said in 2018 is completely true. Uh, the only thing that I've changed is the names. And the names that I've changed is based on stories and, and conflicts and things that I've had in my whole entire experience between my present job, my retail job, or just stories that I've heard between these people that I've talked to in my present job, in my retail job. And uh, I, I don't have a whole lot of radio stories. I, I got some radio stories, but for the most part, when you're sitting in the studio, there's not a whole lot of radio stories other than, hey, don't forget, you know, Joe Smith forgot to hit record on the microphone when he hit that. Those, are, those stories aren't fun. You know what's fun? You know what's funny? When, you're, when your general manager comes out, <laughs> comes out into the warehouse and looks at you and says, you know, why aren't you doing something? And all you hear in the back of your head is a shotgun going, chick, chick, pow. you know, why aren't you doing something? Chick, chick, pow. You know, why aren't you doing? And the warehouse like literally scrapped. And these are stories that happen. These are stories that happen. So I don't know if I, I don't want to apologize, but I want you to understand that in 2018, 2016, uh, 17 is in there somewhere. And since I started the show, I wanted to make the show sound as professional as possible, and I've done that for the most part uh, with the with the, the the clips and and the stories and um. But podcasting is taking over. Podcasting is taking over, and I want to start 2019 with a true Deacon Live. This is Deacon Live. What you're hearing right now outside of Teach Man normally he'll he'll throw his thumb in here now and then. But what you hear is, and I want to appreciate all my, see, I got texts coming in now. I want to appreciate all our listeners that we have um, from state to state. You know, I, I, I see the people in Sioux City, Iowa. I see the people in um, in L.A. I see the people in Chicago that are downloading us. I see those. I see them on a, on a, on a daily basis. And I want to say this is it. This is Deacon Live. What you're what you're hearing right you now, I'm getting kind of choked up because this is what we're doing. And all the all the commercials, all the stuff that you hear is a result of me. <laughs> pussy. You're such a pussy. All the stuff that you hear is is my hard work that I've been doing for so long. So I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. Luke, Luke, Luke. My new location, which uh, you guys now know that is just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Make sure you follow us on our <laughs> face. See, I, my my natural reaction is to give you all the social network and stuff. But uh, I just want you to you know, <laughs> add a little breakdown there. So don't worry. I'm okay. I'm okay. But I want you guys to know. That I'm here for you. I'm here for you all the time. You can text me at any time at 407-448-8800. If you want to talk about anything that we discuss here on the air. Sometimes we get a little raw. Sometimes we get a little soft. Um, if you have questions about anything that we do here on the air. 
Uh, th- that number's open uh, 24-7. Um, so this is what we do here at Deacon Live. Um, uh, one thing that, that we, we've uh, linked our stuff with is uh, Patreon. And I know Patreon's getting a lot of heat with uh, some other stuff. But uh, Patreon is a subscribe membership su- subscription for those of you who just want to see a little bit more behind the scenes and stuff. When I say behind the scenes, let me explain what happens here. You know, from from nuts of soup, I guess is the best way to say that. Nuts of soup. And if you don't know what that means, if you're overseas, that means from start to beginning or start to start to beginning, start to end. Hmm. So when the cameras go on, uh, you see there's four different angles here at the studio and the cameras give you uh, myself, my co-host, when he's here, uh, we talk a little bit about stuff and then the cameras stay on the whole entire time and they record the whole entire show They record the whole entire break breaks all the different breaks that we because we do have to take breaks when we do a live broadcast we take uh live breaks so everything that you're hearing is real time now we shorten i edit a lot of stuff for the the podcast like that burp i'll probably edit that out because your data plans are or are valuable so you don't want to hear you know me burping or anything like that but all the video and stuff i have to edit that down too and it's all done here at the uh the queen city studio in marshville and i literally like you know one night i'll come home from from uh my warehouse job and i'll come home and i'll sit there and and work on that for two hours and then post that and then i have to do the behind the scenes stuff and then i have to do all the the audio stuff, the editing. And I don't want to say woe's me, woe's me. I'm just letting you know what goes on. It's a one-man show here. And one of the things that we're trying to do is through Patreon, if you search Deacon Live, you can see all the the bad phone calls that we get here at the station. The behind-the-scenes footage that you don't see on the YouTube channel. If you're not on the YouTube channel, uh, um, get on the YouTube t- channel and you can see all the stuff that goes on. You can see all the video editing that that goes on here at the station. So it's not just, you know, your normal podcast that you see. Um, we try to make it as multimedia as, as possible. Even on the uh, Profit Radio website, uh, there's a little section, little almost like a little blue tab on a folder down on the bottom right hand side. If you click on that, it open up it opens up a microphone on your screen and you or phone or whatever, and you could say something hit send it comes right here to the studio and we play it how simple is that it, it doesn't take it doesn't track anything on you it's it's completely free for both parties um so that's deacon live i just want to say that's the 2019 we're getting into a new year and i wanted everyone to know exactly what's going on here at at deacon live i want to you know uh we had a Someone comment that, you know, your your show's a little too polished. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, I guess the podcast world doesn't want a polished show. Um, I try to make this show as tight and polished as possible. Uh, you know, I was telling my wife, you know, I'm just waiting for that one phone call. That one phone call from who knows, you know. Uh, Palaka, Florida, or any town, Nebraska, saying, hey, we'd like to you guys to do your show on our station located here, you know, and and that's a dream job. We want to, you know, book you for Monday through Friday, you know, drive time or, or whatever, AM or PM or AM, AM or FM station that, you know, that's the dream job. That's the, uh, the thing that we have to do. And what, what do we do with a French? We'll worry about that when that, that comes. But, uh, I figured, you know, I just, to be honest, going into 2019, uh, so that's where we're at. So I hope that you guys will follow us. I, th- I hope you guys will follow me and follow the station. Uh, the station itself, when we're not on the air, plays um, uh, rock and roll music, classic rock, new rock, all that stuff. Uh, we get a lot of requests for 
you know, just just old school rock. No, but no one's listening to new stuff anymore, and I hate to say that, but they want to hear new stuff from old bands, and uh, we play that a lot on uh, Profit Radio. <sighs> God, it's such a weight lifted off me, and I hope I hope I haven't pissed off or or done anything bad to anyone. Uh, like I said, we we appreciate everyone uh, that listens to us. I'm not I'm not wrapping it up. I just want to say, you know, I, I just wanted to get all that off my chest. And I hope everyone's good out there. Hope everyone's good going into 2019. And uh, this is my, I don't know what what podcast you want to call this. I don't know. I'm going to sit here and think about it for a minute. Hmm. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what I got? I got a uh, I, I got a drone for Christmas. You guys know what a drone is? You, the the you know bzzz, and it gets in the airspace. Um, so I've taken some great pictures with my drone on the property, and uh, if you if you want to see those, you can go to uh, our YouTube page, which is. Briar's Oaks, Briar Oaks, Briar Oaks, uh, B R B R I A R. Is that how you spell Briar's? I don't even know. I'm so dumb. Briar Oaks uh, channel on YouTube. And uh, I think that's all I got for now. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. This is so short. I I'm, I'm hoping that everyone. Hold on. I just want everyone out there to know that uh, that that Deacon Live, everything that we've done, I don't I don't want you to feel betrayed. Everything that we've done here at the station has been 100% true. Uh, I don't want to say for the last three years since Deacon Live has got started. The stories I've always changed the names and locations just to make it fit to our format of stuff going on here at the station. So when you hear something about a salesperson, chances are I've had to deal with a salesperson um, outside of the radio station, whether it be at Home Depot or whether it be the current job that I'm at working in a warehouse. If you ever hear me talk about an operations manager or general manager or a customer or something like that, you can kind of in your mind see and adjust to the past jobs that I have. And one thing I do want to bring up is if you're if you're watching the the live video feed or not the live video feed because we don't do live video feed anymore because it, it just eats up too much bandwidth. But if you're watching the YouTube channel or you will watch the new or the new tube, the YouTube channel, if you look at all the the stuff, you can see that it's me here, here, and here, and how I do the the switching in between breaks. Um, it's all done right here. It's all done within my, whatever my arm span is. <laughs> it's all done here. And uh, I'll, I'll leave the camera running when I go back and edit this stuff. So you guys can kind of see that. And that'll be part of the uh, the Patreon section. And it, like I said, the Patreon section, P P A T R E O N forward slash Deacon Live. You can see all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, I wish I would have had camera out. Um, to film me <laughs> painting this whole entire ceiling. And I'm going to flip this camera up here so you can see the whole entire ceiling has been painted to look like a circus tent. Uh, there's sound, uh, sound muffers everywhere. Uh, you can see the whole entire, um, you can see the, another camera behind me. Um, but the whole entire ceiling, this whole entire studio, for the most part, the half of it, 400 square feet of it, the other back half is set up for live bands, which will come eventually. Uh, we do have some, some things set up for this year, uh, but the whole back half section of the studio is set up for live bands. So if you want to come in and record a song or whatever the case may be, but you can see behind me the, the ceilings paint up like a circus tent, which is our background. That's our background part of our logo. So... Um, on behalf of myself and 
That's all I got going on here at the station. I would like to thank each and every one of you for listening to us. Please follow us on Facebook uh, at Prophet Radio, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. Uh, my name is The Deacon. And make sure you uh, subscribe to us on Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, uh, forward slash Deacon Live. Please uh, support the show. It's a, it's a, It literally is a homegrown grassroots podcast and i i hope you guys I, I hope i you know poured my heart out for you guys to to stick around and not 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 bash us too much so uh, i'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening to us tonight on behalf of myself deacon live i'm the deacon saying good night and good night Wait, 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 come back. This is the end. The absolute end. Écoute-moi.